Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Dawn sends Lamenti at East Jersey Old Town, where historians are bringing new life to this treasure of a historical site. This impeccably restored historic village in Middlesex County captures the rich history of life in the 18th and 19th centuries. The village is dedicated to teaching the history, traditions, folk arts, and craftsmanship of the people who lived and worked across the region. Workshops, seminars, and lectures teach educators, historical interpreters, and historians the art of period trades and crafts. We're saving the past. Uh, all the presenters here, all the demonstrators use primary documents that they've gathered for years or weeks or months and they present the information based on the actual experiences of the doctors or the cooks or the soldiers or the generals. And it's important because it preserves history. It shows us where we've come from and how far we've come in so many ways. Classes like these are based on years of research to make sure it's an illuminating, authentic experience. Students are often surprised to learn that when it came to food and dietary habits in the 18th century, wealthy did not mean healthy. It was the common person that was the healthiest because they're eating the whole grains. It was those who were more upper class and affluent that would only eat the white bread. Meals were monotonous with vegetables, breads, cheese, and meats of the season, known as pottage. When I talk with children today, they are just absolutely astounded that there weren't snack foods. <laughs> Village life was busy. Everybody worked, even children. Sweaters were knitted. Shoes were handmade. So were the tools of every trade including these used for surgeries. Writers made their own quill pens in an age long before Google, emojis, computers, or smartphones. I hope that they'll learn a little bit about the context of literacy in the 18th century and also, practically speaking, how to cut a pen. Workshops like this one that focus on details of daily life prepare these educators for upcoming summertime events across the state which celebrate our rich history by passing it on to the next generation. To find out about all the wonderful events happening here and across the state, go to revolutionarynj.org. Dawn Sens Lamenti reporting for Jersey Matters. Up next, Larry's commentary.